I went to work at the Craighead County Jonesboro Public Library in Jonesboro, Arkansas in May of 2008. I learned some things about libraries real quick. Uh, the first thing that I learned about libraries was that there was this huge war going on. And um, libraries were fighting against what I've termed as the trinity of evil. <laughs> All I heard for the first year or so was that Google and Wikipedia and Amazon were attacking libraries and we had to fight back at our library against Amazon and Google and Wikipedia. And we had a little bit of a problem because this was the weapon we were bringing to the to the <laughs> This was our website in 2008. Um, now, now our website, yeah, we, we didn't have a very good weapon. We did have some advantages though. We, we, we did, um, we had leaders. Uh, this was my previous director. She retired in 2013. This is our, my current director. Uh, that's Phyllis Burkett and David Eckert. Uh, David's our, our director now. He was our assistant director uh, when I hired on. He had just come on in 2007. Uh, these are leaders, folks. They're not managers. Um, and I'm real big on that. It, it means a lot to me that people understand the difference between the two. Uh, leaders work with people. Managers work with processes, okay? You manage processes, you lead people. And we had leaders at the top of our organization. Uh, these leaders were willing to let us do things that I still to this day often hear a lot of people in libraries saying, well, we could never do that. Well, you need better leaders or you need to be better leaders. The philosophy, uh, as best as I can encapsulate it at our library, is that our leadership provides a culture of creativity where people can fail with confidence. People can come up with ideas and not fear that if that idea doesn't work out, that their job's on the line. We, we encourage people to succeed, but we encourage them not to be afraid to fail. Because if you, if you foster an environment where people are afraid to fail, you're stifling those people's creativity and the opportunity for your library to be great. A lot of the things we're going to talk about today genuinely happened by accident. We didn't mean for it to happen the way that it did. It just kind of happened because we had this culture of creativity where we were trying some things. And they were like, wow, that works. Let's do some more of it. And, uh, and our first creative team, the way it came about was Melanie Dunlap. She was our, our graphic designer. She was an intern uh, graphic designer. But she'd been out of the library for a semester while she was working on graduating, and we'd gotten another intern to fill her spot during that period of time. And uh, Phyllis had taken advantage back during the, the recession of some really cheap advertising prices and had gotten some billboards for the library. Okay, So she had four billboards around town. And, uh, but there wasn't any creativity to it. it. It said, check out the library, <laughs> or check us out. I'm sorry, it said, check us out. That's, uh, the four of us, or excuse me, the five of us met on a Tuesday and started bouncing around some ideas. And <clears throat> I don't even remember who it was that came up with it, but somebody said, you know, the, the, some e-cards, the e-cards on social media were really, really popular at the time. This was about 2012, I guess it was, 2000, early 2012. I like the idea of appropriation. You take something out of the environment people expect to see it in and you put it in a different environment, it catches people's attention because they didn't expect to see these billboards. Uh, uh, so this was our, these were our first billboards. We created these billboards. Uh, we put them up around town. I have to tell you completely honestly, there's a very big difference in thinking you're funny when you're looking at this on a computer screen. <laughs> And when you drive out to when the billboard's gone up and you're looking at a 40-foot billboard that says Dumbledore died on page 596. Uh, so yeah, I was like, maybe we went too far. Mocked it up to tell you that there is a line and you don't want to cross that line and it differs for each of you. Uh, but you do want to get right up against that line because look, if, you're, if you pull too far, away, too far back, if you're too tentative, uh, trying to be funny or trying to get people's attention, you're just going to come across as lame. And, you know, I'd rather, I, honest to goodness, I'd rather cross the line and then have to pull back as to come up short. Uh, you know, you're going to be far more effective like that. Again, a culture where people cannot be afraid to fail. You've got to let people try things that are a little risky.